hello and welcome back to another video where today i'm going to be doing a new to pro on anime last stand which is basically the i don't even know the new version of anime adventures i guess because anime adventures as you all know has been packed and yeah there was nothing else to really play and i tried getting into this before it looked a bit weird but i assumed it was going to like fall off but it didn't fall off so now i'm making a new to pro on it this actually isn't a noob to pro this isn't a new account or anything this is a noob to pro run my first time playing through it well i played a little bit on my first account but yeah i just used the codes tried to do some summons and last time i got a very good unit but on this account on this run i didn't want to spend too much gems because genos was in the banner and i had a look at the tier list before this and apparently genos is absolutely awful and you want like gojo or sakuna i think so i completely ignored the banner after just doing one times ten summon to get a good unit and then I went and did some story mode. Now, I wasn't going to actually record or include any gameplay from the first level of story mode. As in anime adventures, all star tower defense. Basically, every tower defense is the easiest thing on earth. And I had an epic unit, which is... I'd never been in a tower defense game that's had air defense, well, a requirement for air defense this early. Normally, anim like anime adventures, that was uh, the Bleach story mode, which was very far in. All-star tower defense, I think, was the My Hero, which was the third story. But nope, this game has it, the first story. So, I had to go do some more summons, and I ended up getting a blue Vegeta, which I didn't actually think I got any air units, so I started looking through and all the things they could hit, and I saw the Vegeta was blue, so I was like, this isn't going to go well, it's probably not going to be strong enough. But apparently there isn't that big of a damage difference between rarity. So this blue Vegeta was actually enough to beat the air units. So yeah, now I had air units, air defense, and I could beat the level quite easily. As you can see here, after getting the air defense, we were just flying through the story. This is Act 6 of the first story mode, which is the Naruto mode. And after this, you get to unlock your first version of infinite mode, which is how you get killed. So I went on to do the infinite mode, and I ended up getting close to wave 100. And it also gave me a ton of damage, which completed my damage quest, giving me gems, sort of how all-star tower defense's damage task works. And there's also a skill tree, which is a very weird mechanic for a game like this to have. But that runs off kills, so this kind of helped my units, like, get more kills for their skill tree. So I could develop their skill tree a bit more after this. After this, Gojo was in the summons, so we did some more summons. And you're going to be absolutely shocked with this result. We still got no mythic. We got this. Yep. We got this. I wanted this. And instead, we got this. But, despite never getting a mythic from this game we carried on pursuing the story mode and the next story mode was one piece and obviously we beat this easy now because we have legendaries air defense we have everything we could have ever needed to beat any of these story modes for quite a while now i didn't feel like doing another 100 waves so i made sure to put it on the hardest mode and nightmare mode is basically this game's version of hard mode there's normal and then nightmare so it's basically just hard mode there's nothing in between it and it's just a lot harder and we ended up getting wiped by some absolutely tanky boss but yeah, as you can see, we did some summons real quick and we went into the Bleach story and we actually almost lost here. But we have a very tanky, well, very tank-destroying air unit now. A legendary unit that destroys airs. And we barely beat it by just placing and reselling over and over again. And beat it just as it was about to kill us. And then after spending all of our gems and getting no mythic still, I decided to do a little grind of Nightmare Infinite modes. Just to farm some gems up. And I think I did three of these just to claim a bunch of gems, get the damage, kills, etc. Just to get as many gems as possible for when a good banner came up. And then I saw a half decent mythic in the summon, so I thought, why not summon? I'm actually getting bored. I really do not want to wait for another summon. And I managed to get Yami from Black Clover. And 
he's not too bad so i went over and did some re-rolls because there's trait re-rolls in this game just like there is in anime adventures except in this game they're a bit more free and i ended up getting some pretty cool stuff but i kept on gambling because i had 50 re-rolls and eventually i got overlord which is like the second best perk in the whole game it only lets me place one of him but it boosts his damage by 300%. So I went ahead and equipped him and went back into infinite mode, nightmare mode, see how much further I'd get. And I didn't actually get as far as I thought I would get. I only got to wave like 47 before I started dying. And I thought I would get a lot further, but the bosses just have too much health. And then we went back to do some more summons and got nothing good as usual. Now that we've got Mythic, our luck's been reset. And then it was just back to infinite mode over and over again to just farm up gems for the next banner. I was about to reach Pity for a Mythic, and Sukuna was in the banner, which I really wanted because he's a very OP unit. So, I tried doing some summons, but I was like two summons away, so I just went into a story mode to get the extra gems I needed. I came back to the lobby, and I spun, and obviously I got Sukuna. I wasn't actually that excited about it because it was it was Pity for Mythic, so I was 100% going to get it. But it was still nice to have, so I went over and did some trait rerolls, and after pulling Overlord on a very mediocre unit, I pretty much was 100% sure. I was not going to get anything else good on my Sukuna, and I only had like 30 rerolls. But I ended up getting a decently good trait, and I walked off with Cosmic. And I was going to keep Cosmic, but then I got Demigod, so I was like, alright, Demigod's a 1% is the best out of all of these. Like, I don't know what rarity it is, like Legendary or something. It was the best I could get, but then I remembered something. If you are unsure on who is going to win, always bet on Hakari. But yeah, after I almost gambled away my fantastic trait, I managed to re-roll the exact same trait again, and I only had two re-roll tokens, there was literally no point of re-rolling anymore. And then I just went back to infinite to get more gems, back to the usual grind, as there's not much else to do in this game, other than grind infinite mode and story mode. And after that, claimed some gems, did a nice little times 10 summon to wrap up the day, and Genos is in the banner, but at this point I didn't care, I just wanted to spend my gems. I got a nice, cool legendary, but aside from that, pretty much got nothing. And yeah, I was calling it a day because I was getting insanely bored, and I got some pretty good units from pretty good traits. That is all for this video. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. This is a new channel and I have like 8 subscribers, so a subscribe would be very much appreciated.